Heather Locklear conducted errands around Los Angeles with her elderly mother over the weekend, acting like the devoted daughter she is. According to exclusive images, the 63-year-old actress met her 91-year-old mother Diane outside a San Fernando Valley building on Saturday afternoon. With the assistance of a caretaker, she then escorted her to a waiting car. The female assistant pushed Diane, who is now in a wheelchair, around while Heather went to a nearby CVS to get some prescription medications, perhaps for Diane. Wearing a white sweatshirt, gray leggings, and sneakers, the Melrose Place alumna flaunted her slender body and appeared content and healthy. She wore a baseball cap from the Gabby Petito Foundation and carried a shopping tote. On a cross-country road trip in 2021, Gabby Petito, a 22-year-old travel blogger, was murdered by her fiancé, Brian Laundrie. Despite being confined to a wheelchair, Heather's mother Diane appeared to be in good health and lively. She wore sneakers, striped leggings, and a black sweater to match her daughter's laid-back style. The mother-daughter pair hasn't been seen together in public for years before this outing. Even during Heather's darkest moments, when she was put in a mental health facility in 2018 after reportedly strangling her mother and threatening to murder herself at her Ventura County home, the two have stayed close. After being attacked by her daughter, whom she reported to the police as acting violently and irrationally, Diane called 911 for assistance. Despite her issues, Heather has always had a great relationship with both of her parents and spoke heartily about her father Bill after his passing in June of this year. As she announced her father's death on June 12th, she posted a moving photo of him, whom she referred to as the love of my life. The most intelligent man I've ever met. The standard is really high. My life's love. The proud are few. Dad, you have my undying affection. Rest in peace, she wrote. In addition to Heather, Bill Locklear, 94, has three more children from his 68-year marriage to Diane. Bill had apparently been ailing for a while at the time of his death and had been admitted to the hospital months earlier in February. After her well-documented struggle with substance misuse, mental health concerns, and arrests for domestic violence and battery between 2008 and 2019, Heather, who has been in and out of rehab 20 times, seems to be on the straight and narrow. She recently returned to acting, co-starring with Emily Ellerup as discredited counselor Jody Hildebrandt in the Lifetime drama Mormon Mom Gone Wrong. The Ruby Frank Story, which debuted on October 26th. Hildebrandt, 56, and 42-year-old YouTuber Frank were known to adhere to a rigid parenting style, which turned out to be appalling maltreatment of Ruby's undernourished children, ages 8 and 12. Hildebrandt was sentenced to four consecutive periods of 1 to 15 years at the Utah State Correctional Facility after entering a guilty plea to four counts of felony aggravated child abuse on December 27th of last year. Since playing author Christine Carlson in LNS, Pressman's Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. The Christine Carlson story, which aired on Lifetime in 2021, Locklear had not had an acting role until her most recent movie, Endeavor. The former Dynasty star just celebrated her daughter Ava's 27th birthday last month, and she was spotted enjoying her 63rd birthday in late September. During her 11-year marriage to Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora, which terminated in 2007, Heather gave birth to her only child. After graduating from Loyola Marymount University with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology in 2020, Ava earned her Master of Science in Marriage and Family Therapy at USC last year. In February, Ava's four-year boyfriend Tyler Farrar announced on social media that she was engaged to him.